Clayton knocked down in the corner. Fed up high to Sheen. Gets it in front for Hoff. Backhand scores. Jared Hoff. Behind the net, it's Alfaro. Trying to feed it in front. Blocked by Jared Smith. But Alfaro again gets it in front to Gordon. But a nice stop by Patrick Day. Here's Popoff. Trying to get it to Glover. That was off a leg. Clearing attempt held in by Carvalho. Popoff to the net. Scores! Rosignol deflects it in front. Freed through center and Stenerson's gonna get up some speed. Stenerson coming in back and same made rebound scores. Quentin Greenwood on the rebound. And the Birds take their first lead of the weekend, 2-1. Greenwood his third of the season. To the corner for Harrison. Up high, Henderson shot, scores. 25 seconds left on the power play, less than five to go in the third, we're tied at two. Sharp angle shot, they score! It sneaks off Greenfield's shoulder and in. Another power play goal for the Thunderbirds. Husenius. Back to Gibson. Gusenius hammers it, the score. A power play goal to tie it with 8.7 seconds left. Stenerson collects the puck. Here come the birds. Two on one, Stenerson scores! Mike Stenerson, double overtime winner. His second big goal of the weekend, and the UBC Thunderbirds take it 4-3 and finally get that monkey off their back, their first win of 2019. Yeah, it was kind of tough giving up the late one there with the penalty, but on the bench we kind of kept positive and kind of pumped everyone up, and uh, we were pretty pumped up when we got the winner. Yeah, you talk about that, you know, the late PK uh, goal against, but I mean, special teams looked just on fire throughout this weekend. Yeah, we kind of talked about special teams and how important they are this weekend. We've been struggling lately on the power play and stuff, and both games we got some power play goals at key times, so it was uh, very fortunate. So in the playoff race right now, trying to hunt down one of those those home bursts, I mean, this three-point weekend definitely goes a long way to helping that. Uh, is this a, a bit of a momentum changer maybe going forward here? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Calgary's a really strong team, and... Uh, I think getting three points at home is, is crucial, and, and going to Sask next, week, next weekend will, uh, will be tough, but hopefully we can get some points on the road as well. Four-point weekend for yourself. Uh, you really got the legs back. Uh, you must be feeling pretty good out there. Yeah. No, no I, was, I wasn't too happy with my first two weeks after Christmas, kind of with the concussion stuff, getting my feet back under me. And this weekend, I think my line mates, Veteral and, and Ravel, did a good job for checking and getting the puck loose to, for all of us, and uh, I thought we had a good, successful weekend. We, uh, we've wanted it real bad, um, played a great game, uh, still it's, it's a good league, they're a good team, um, there's no easy games and they proved it at the end and they, they battled hard too and uh, you know it's funny that Mike Stenerson ends up scoring the overtime goal after last night, he was on the ice when they scored the overtime goal so great to see Mike uh, get the job done. How about him? He had an incredible weekend. Two points last night. Scored uh, scored to tie it in the third period. Then got the game winner here today. A uh, bit of a breakout weekend maybe for him. Yeah, I think uh, he had you know a bit of a slow start to the season, um, but he's found his groove now and he's skating. When he's skating, he's one of the fastest guys in the league, uh, and he still gets in on the forecheck and physical and goes to the net. So. Uh, you know, playing with Ravel and Vetterl now, you know, that was the line last year. They had a lot of success, so uh, I, I expect them to get better every weekend. Special teams look good again today. I mean, yes, Calgary scored the late power play goal, but two power play goals, uh, so three on the weekend and allowing just the one against. Yeah, I mean, we talk about it, we work on it a lot, we show a lot of video. Um, it cost us a little bit in Mount Royal after uh, Christmas. So, uh, you know, I'm a big believer and you got to win the special team battle. So uh, that's one of our focuses. Good to see guys execute, um, you know, stick to the, the plays we work on. And it was, it was nice to get rewarded. First period seemed pretty even, but then you guys slowly picked up momentum and kind of took things over as the game went on. What was the difference there? I thought our neutral zone play was real tight in the second. We got a lot of turnovers in the neutral zone. 
which created transition and odd man rushes for us. Uh, we didn't capitalize on any of them, um, but we got opportunities, we got some momentum, guys started feeling it a little bit after that and uh, you know, you know, brought some of the belief back because when you lose a bunch of games in a row and you have trouble scoring, you know, you got you to believe, you got to stay positive, you got to be mentally tough and uh, you know, in the second period I think we kind of proved it to ourselves that, you know, if we play the right way we were going to get rewarded.